Is Yu-Gi-Oh too fast? Is old Yu-Gi-Oh really better than new Yu-Gi-Oh? I'm always entitled to my own opinion, but I always find it important to get the opinion of others, and in today's video, I'm going to have two fairly new Yu-Gi-Oh players to the game react to old formats, those being Crush Cards. If you guys haven't seen their channel yet, make sure to do so. They post some amazing content, and the link to their channel is in the description. But without further ado, take it away, Brian and Logan. What's up, everybody? This is Brian. And I So for any of y'all who may be wondering what is going on here, we are doing a collaboration series over on our channel called Linking Up, where we collaborate with some of our favorite YouTubers to try to help spread the content throughout the community to build a bigger and stronger family. So if you guys want, feel free to go over to our channel. I'm sure the links are in the description box down below. Blade is episode four for our series, and it is really, really sweet. It is a really quick introduction for anyone who has no idea who we are. Hi, we're Crush Guys. We're a very new channel. We started the channel just under a year ago, but we started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! about a year and a half to go right in January of 2019. And last year was a bit of a whirlwind for us because we started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! We started attending regionals. We both ended up getting our invites at multiple events, which is really crazy being our first year. Like, I, yeah. I got my invite first. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Wow. That's still wild to me. If you want to see that, that was over on Sam's channel. Hi, it's me, Paleo Girl. But then basically in August of 2019, we started a channel because we wanted to start sharing what we were learning in our journey in Yu-Gi-Oh! with new players. And so yeah. here we are today. Our channel is somehow almost at 17,000 subscribers subscribers, which is absolutely wild. We have a whole bunch of alpacas, we do deck profiles, we do lore, we do openings, we do the whole shebang. So if you're interested in any of that, be sure to check out our channel. We have a lot of fun. We really do try to have a big happy family over there. So for today's collaboration, Blade asked us to go back and look at older formats that we weren't a part of and then react to them because this current format, it's a little nuts. Yeah, we came into this game when links were a thing and like, yeah. Firewall nice. OTK had just ended, so like we came into a very whirlwind like type of setting with the game. So going to older formats is going to be very interesting because obviously the game has had different kinds of FTKs and had slower times as well. So yeah. like it's going to be weird to go back. So we have an overarching question that we're going to try and delve with throughout this video, and it's what seems better for newer players, older Yu-Gi-Oh or modern Yu-Gi-Oh? Today Ooh. we're going to dive into that and we're going to see. I feel like I already have some preconceived decisions on that. <laughs> But we're gonna take a little journey. We're yeah. gonna look at some old videos, and we're gonna you're gonna get our raw reaction. Like we yeah. haven't watched these videos, so you guys are getting it live. Like this is gonna be it. And we're gonna take a gander because we're new. We don't know anything. So that being said, feel free to go down, hit the subscribe button to Blade if you're not already subscribed to Blade. Because he's cute with his little cartoon self. <laughs> Who doesn't love it? And then we have our links in the description. Also, feel free to come over and join our family. But that being said, let's hop over and watch some of these old school videos. Oh boy, let's see what trauma will avail me now. So we're over here on Blade's channel, as y'all can obviously see. Blade asked us to take a look at older formats. Blade does mostly history-based stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of his stuff is like discussions, looking back at older stuff, or just like more, like not like lore-based, but more like- A very topic-centric. Yes, and mm -hmm. that being said, he wanted us, new players, to go and check out older formats mm -hmm. and get our opinion and our reaction mm -hmm. to it. So over the course of this video, we're gonna be watching three <laughs> different videos. <laughs> One of which is the 2012 NAWCQ Championship deck profile. Then we're gonna look at the combos for that deck because in a we different have no video idea what, because what we don't know what the deck, deck actually does. Yeah. And then we're gonna watch a live match with that deck in use. Pretty so fun. it's gonna kind of show us the actual like transition of the deck, learning the deck, and then showing the deck off. Because mm, yeah, we thought yeah. that would be really fluid and helpful for everyone. Especially us. <laughs> <laughs> but before we do that, we just want to say thanks again, Blade, for having us over here on the channel. You did not have to do this. Our Linking Up series is super duper fun. We are so glad mm -hmm. to have you, man. We love you. And uh, that being said, we appreciate you. Yeah. It's super cute. Let's pop right on over. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, I'm such a ham. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> we right. have our 2012 right. NA. Uh, I don't even actually know if this is any oh, WCQ now. Might, now it's just uh, World Championship Qualifier. Mm, but gonna, that's okay. Well, if it's not at a WCQ, we'll just... It's just WCQ, it's so just that being said. It's just WCQ. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let's get into it. Ready? All right, so we are just going to start the profile and see what this is. Hello, Yu-Gi-Oh players. How are you today? We are not in the NAWCQ. No, just kidding. Sorry. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> 
See, everyone Lined gets up. nervous. It's so easy to be nervous. You were like that for your first birthday. I was a train channel. wreck. Oh my god. All right, so sweating. it is wind ups. Cool. No idea what wind ups do. No Not idea. Yeah, I don't know what any of these cards do. I'm literally just like, yeah, looks good. You topped a YCS oh, or the an NAWCQ. Oh, shark is cute. Magician. It's crazy that this won a WC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder what this deck does. Yeah, I don't know. Three tour guys. Okay. Uh, three tour guys. Yeah, there's a lot of level threes happening here. I Was feel like BA some alive stuff. at this point, or did the deck get murdered Good already? Question. Wow. Valor. The only hand trap that was around back then, I feel like. So no Ash, no Infern. That's already very That's different. so wild. What do you do? Just judgment? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Whoa, a lot of back heavy storm at one. Is that an ulti? That's amazing. MST? I want to live in a format where heavy storm is a legal card. <laughs> like, that's beautiful. Look, look at all these weird one ups. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Moon was at one. That's weird. Dark hole that's at crazy. one. That's crazy. played dark one? hole in the main deck? So I mean, weird. it's 2012. That's wild. Okay, warning's still that the same. This is like a top deck. Torrential and bottomless. <laughs> mirror Force in the main uh, deck. Yeah, heavy really Storm cool. and Mirror Force in a topping deck at a WAC or a WCQ. I keep saying WA. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where CQ. that is. <laughs> he just had 42, which is actually mm -hmm. really interesting also Very because a lot of people in today's format are like 40. It's strictly 40 cards. Like 41 is incorrect. So like a 42, that's really cool. I appreciate that. We play most of our decks at 41. I like 41. Um, oh, time for an extra deck I don't understand. Oh, look at all these ultis. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a lot of shit. This is like ultis, though, just like came yeah, in they just like came four out of sets, for though, didn't they? Yeah. Like, it doesn't feel like there's much of a flex now, which feels so sad. Roach Papa in the Roach. dragon matchup? I Cut presume in 2012. Two pieces. You're talking about dragon rulers, maybe? Let me in, my little man. Still playing today. What a cute little level okay. three, rank three guy. This is all XCs. Oh. What, what the, the hell? What do these do? These are instant fusion they targets, I think. Vanilla. Okay, so the only thing I can think of is he's playing a bunch of like rank like threes, rank fives. So maybe that was a level three and a level five. So maybe he instant fusions out to maybe. get the levels. I love the fashion of 2012. I'm yeah. just looking at whatever yeah, one's wearing really and cute. it just makes me laugh. I love it. So Side deck. What is, is no man like a kaiju? I, I, I think it's Maxi. If only Maxi was actually legal. It must have been at two. That's crazy. Yeah. How is it at two? I feel like it's zero yeah, or great. three. Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you Maybe do? he just chose not Maybe. to play the third? Story time. Thunder King. I have no idea what he just said. I have no idea what anything I have no idea what happened. Maybe we are in North America because I'm seeing a lot of Illinois shirts. <laughs> Ooh, triple. Okay. Cool. Where are we? <laughs> I just want to know. Okay, he said dragon deck, and he's talking about banishing cards, so he's got to be talking about dragon rulers. We're definitely in North America now that I'm thinking about it. This kid's got the most American accent. Yeah. Dino Rabbit, that's a deck we've never really seen before. Soul Taker? Isn't that banned? Probably. I think. Shadow Prison Mirror, that's cute. This is so weird. Oh, Insectors! Like, Didn't they just win, like, the thing, the, um... No, the, they the restarted thing? it. Oh, yeah, that's no, right. I remember, because the box Sorry. ruined it. Don't buy box, kids. Vote yourselves. Ask your friends. Ooh. Ooh. Dimensional prison. Prison. <laughs> prison? <laughs> I went... <laughs> dimensional prison. <laughs> I got fishing, like, dimensional fisher, and then, yeah, like, the new, new. Cute. My life is a catastrophe, bud. Oh. That was actually a really, really fast profile. Yeah, that was really fast. Um, so we're gonna this pause video? this real quick. Yeah, we're definitely. It is the NAWCQ. Are we <laughs> sure? No, but there's a guy <laughs> in an Illinois shirt, yeah, and okay. like he's talking like this. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. Where okay. else would we be? I guess. Italy. I don't know. <laughs> We're trying, team. I'm sorry, okay? This is our first time watching it. I'm just trying. Yeah, I mean, like, this is actually really interesting for us to come back and watch, mm. too. Like, especially mm. as new players in 2020 going back to watch a 2012 mm. format deck profile. All of our deck profiles that we do on our channel, and at least like to focus on, we go through the card by card, what the cards do, and then how they actually have interactions mm -hmm. with the rest of the deck. And then towards the end, we like to do combo tutorials and just, like, test hands, too, yeah. to show the realistic potential of the deck. So, yes. to, like, I, obviously this isn't, like, a gigantic yeah. event, so they don't have time like, to do boom, this, boom. but... 
boom. For people like us, it's like, yeah, I'm playing three rabbit, three shark, two magician. Well, like, I'm like, even even okay. like, even when I did my my profile for Sam's channel, like I I literally like when I sat down to do everything, I forgot what all of my cards. Did. <laughs> I literally remember being like, I I didn't even remember what Crackdown did to the point where I misspoke, and I like I was panicking. First of all, I was very That's okay. I was very struck. But like it's you're in the moment, it's very stressful. Like, yeah, I will say, yeah, that was your first invite too. Yes, and, like, especially my first invite when especially I to, after I was like, uh, a, a full day of playing, it's exhausting. So, like, I don't blame people for ripping through these profiles because you're just like, I just want to eat and leave and go to bed. <laughs> this that, that profile was four minutes and 33 seconds. Let's go on and just see what happens just for a couple minutes after. Okay. Cool? Sure. Okay, and we're going to go now. What's good about the deck? <laughs> it won. I don't know what that means, Shark Magician. I don't know what he just said. Good news is we have a combo section after this that hopefully that'll get explained. <laughs> What's good about this deck? <laughs> he speaks so passionately. Okay. I mean, that's not like 2020. Two card combos and your opponent just scoops. I mean, that's relatively 2020 ish. I think their combo was a little different, though. Yeah. Okay, a lot of people talk about Dino what Rabbit in this. Dino Rabbit? What, is that like dinosaur? No. You know what? Thinking about it now, we talked about this earlier before bed last night, before we like actually sat down to film this. We were like, wow, what is it? Like dinosaurs with like UCT and like. Normal summon Obi Raptor? <laughs> Special summon Rescue Rabbit? I don't know. But. If I'm not mistaken, the Dino Smashers Fury structure deck didn't, exist, didn't yet. exist yet. Yeah, there, so, was, there was no Dino. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> That's actually a really good question. He said, do you think this was the best deck, or do you think it was just a good meta call? That, when it comes to building decks, is actually really, really important, especially when you go to tournaments. Do you want to play the best deck in the room, or do you want to play a deck that beats the best deck mm -hmm. in the room? That's I like. That's probably the best question that has ever been asked on Big YouTube. Big brains for years. Okay, we are like seven minutes in, so let's just go to All the right. combo, I guess. All right, now we're going to watch the combo for this deck, so maybe we'll actually learn what the hell it does. Okay, so we are now officially on the um, combo. the combo section of this. We're going to figure out what this deck intends to do. Uh, yeah, ready? Yeah. Let, let's just see what this deck does. <laughs> no, I'm not. 2012. What is 2012 My meta look like? like? Me graduating high school. Oh, wow. I was in high school in 2012, team. Oh, that's right, because the turn player drew for turn on their first turn. You just did that back in 2012? You could just... Yeah. Wait, so like before you... St like, turn one, yeah, yeah. person going first yeah. drew a it's card? It's like goat format. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. Crazy. <laughs> what was Yu-Gi-Oh? I love how he just said max C. Max C. Okay, basic combo. Here we go. Normal. Cool. He's cute little sharky boy. Okay, so that's specials. Shark effect to level itself down. Shark. Oh. Cool. That looks like Saryuja. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Saryuja was a thing. I know. <laughs> what do you do? What do you go into? Okay, he just said he said we're tributing a card. Ooh, we're tributing. Okay, so the tribute ripped a card out of the other opponent's hand. So is that why wind up the band? I think so. Hang on, let's find out. That's the card that's banned. Yep, I was gonna say there's probably a card that's banned, and yeah, that's the one. Okay. 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 You can just do this. This is the reason hard ones per turns were invented. They're soft ones per turn. How long was this legal? Like this deck? Hopefully not long Comments, enough. Comments, let us know how long this deck was legal. I'm very interested. Okay, so we just get another rat. Okay, get him back. Oh, we're just looping. Oh, I love loops. Cool, loops are super fun. That's insane. All right. So you're just Rip a ripping third three card. cards. If I'm not mistaken, I've only seen two of these, so there's probably one That's more. That's why they're wind-ups. Oh, oh. There it is. There's the third one. No wonder they're the called wind-ups. They literally just wind up and then loop, 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 loop. Oh my god, let me just get them back. Wait, wait, wait. Cute. Shuffle them back. That's so Oh, that's not fair. That's not. This doesn't even look fun. And you know what? 
I, I will say, for like new players who only been around for like a year and a half or so, this sounds very 2020. Like, this is like, there's like build the board it was workshops. ahead of its time. Ahead yeah, of its time. But like, you're, the, if the end goal is the same, it's your opponent can't play. Like, what? Four cards. Okay, are we doing it again? Wait. Oh, no, he's only got that copy left. Yeah. Okay, so we just make a 21 defense booty. Your opponent has two cards in hand. That's cute. Well, no, they'll have one, and then they'll draw for their turn having two. And then you have six cards in hand still, I think, or four cards, something like that, plus two cards on field. This is a lot. Okay, that's really gross. That's really gross. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. This is actually really busted. This is really busted. Those sleeves are super cute. I know, cute. I want the sleeves. Yo, <laughs> I like the little twist. gold sarcasm. Hit us up too. with those sleeves, though. Whack. I can't believe this deck was real. Like, how long was this okay? Like, the deck is ultied out. They knew this deck was nutty. And you know what's nuts, too? Like, we're gonna pause this right now. I think what's really, really crazy is, like, Konami... Like, these are decks that, yes, they exist, but I feel like Konami knows they exist, mm -hmm. and they do this. Oh, they, like, mm -hmm. this entire deck, based on Homeboy's profile beforehand, and then just watching this little combo section, most of the deck is ultimate rare. Like, yeah. Konami doesn't oh, yeah. pretty crappy archetypes in ultimate. I mean, maybe they do. We don't um, know. We've only been around for a year and a half. But still, like, <laughs> all the ultis that we've seen out of the recent, like, OTS packs, like, the first ones that mm. we got were all the Sky Striker extra deck yeah, monsters. That, was, uh, that deck Orcus. was definitely tier one. And then all Orcus, oh, tier Trick one. Stars. Trick Star, like, tier one-ish. And then, like, now there's just, like, staples. Like, there's um, uh, Abyss Dweller, Twin Twister, mm -hmm. Judgment. Like, they don't really print bad cards as ultis so That's i why. think they knew what they were doing with this deck which makes sense that this like one little rank three ulti card is banned as hell that's crazy i just want to know how long this deck was allowed to function <laughs> like scary like, i want the comments to let us know comments. oh god okay and then i guess we're gonna go over here now to all right the now we're gonna deck. watch the, the duel sorry the pro Yu-Gi-Oh duel wind-ups versus dino rabbit featuring billy break and joe Jorlando, yeah, full these match are 2012. Two really, really well known players. I mean, Billy Brake is like a commentator now for Nats and Worlds and stuff like that. So, like, Billy Brake has worked his way his all the name? way up. It's Billy William. Br it's William Brake. Willie Brake. <laughs> He's a uh, fun fact uh, John Moore, I believe they're roommates. Yeah. John, if you're watching this, um, tell Billy we said hi. We're going to watch his match now. Hope he doesn't slam the brakes too much. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, did you? Okay, ready? All right. Here we go. One, two, three, go! One, two, three, four, five. Right? Do we draw six cards for turn or no? Is it gonna be 18 cards? I'm so confused. What's happening? Why, Why is this card in the middle unsleeved? <laughs> What's happening? Maybe he's. Okay, okay. Wait, is this like a real duel? Or... I think so, yeah, it says match. Yeah, but like, is this like an actual. Is that supposed to be a field is this center? At an I'm event, so confused. or is this just for fun? I think fun? this might be just for fun, but this oh, is the only I duel wanted, like, from real... 2012 that I could find. <laughs> It was like <laughs> that you could see and wasn't yeah, like recorded. The quality yeah, isn't the quality's like, like visible. 2012 dumpster fire. Okay, so T set pass. That's definitely not very 2020 of them. Boom. Me. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, are we setting? Just kidding. No! <laughs> I mean, T setting passing I on this. I dare you to T set. Do it. Um. Oh, we're just gonna set. Okay. Okay. Bold. Cute. What's happening? I thought this was Dino. I thought this was wind ups. I really it's wanted to see the wind ups rabbit. wind up. This doesn't look very wind up y. Oh, there's a dinosaur. Okay. Oh, oh, so this is another oh. dinosaur. Oh, so it was a flip summon. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, there oh, it is. Mm -mm. So this is the dinosaur aspect of the game, He's I guess, to vanillas. Wait, why did he just take a He just he attacked. attacked. Oh, <laughs> battle phase? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we got a negate on field. on field. That's cool. Cool. It's crazy that these cards are so old. I know. The evils are, so it's crazy. Set, Ooh, two. set two. Ooh. Oh, your style. Ooh, that's set another one. Oh, T set. Amazing. What's more like you set? You say? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this game is very enthralling. Wait, did he just move zones? <laughs> did he just. <laughs> okay. I didn't know you could do that in 2012. Picked it up. Nah. <laughs> Zone two it is. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get uh, relinquished the Nemo over here. Oh, what's this? Um, <laughs> I don't is know. Is that a what? Giraffe? I it can't does tell. look like Wild Giraffe. I'm I can't lying. tell though. It's very <laughs> it's difficult really to see was... this. <laughs> you can just do that? What's happening? I don't know. Why does Attack! 
Why does nobody talk? Like, just say, oh, uh, Venus battle chain. phase. Can't attack. Okay, cool. Phoenix chain. Why does no one declare phases? What happened? MST! Bruh. Who heard There it is. 2012. Oh, Sangan! <laughs> just what? kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I have a response. We just chain on that guy, too. Bye bye. Okay. Any response? No? No? Wait, okay. this is wild. I just don't understand how they're not talking to each other. Like, I, I talked to them. I will opponent. say, yeah, I feel like 2012 is, like, closer to, like, GOAT format. And all the, we don't, we've never played GOATs in yeah. our lives. I know that there's, like, Chaos, GOAT, and I don't, GOAT, whatever. GOAT. It's sure. <laughs> we are not familiar with that, but all the GOAT games we've seen, it looks like, and I guess that's, like, it's kind of contingent with today's 2020 minute now, but, like, a lot of players, if you know exactly what the cards do, mm -hmm. you don't really say, like, oh, I'm going to negate that with this, or I'm going to choose to do this, or choose to do that. Usually, like, yeah, um, no. And then, uh, yeah, this card, like, if it's, like, I'm going to set two cards, I'm going to activate twin, and I'm going to discard a card. You mm -hmm. don't really, like, say, okay, twin twister, discard on, on I don't know, Mothman or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you usually just, like, flip twin, discard a card, and then point to two cards. So, like, I guess I get this. Oh, we I got don't. Lagia and Dolka on board. Bruh. I don't know. I just... I agree. Like, it's Like, tough. I... Nowadays, you have to be like, all right, like, I'm going to attempt to activate this. Response? I just, yeah, <laughs> and I agree. Like, I think communication is better right now, Just like too. in life. Aww. <laughs> um, mole. Okay, we got an elemental something. Mole, right? Or something Man, mole? there's nothing more intimidating than Loggy and Dulka just sitting there looking at you. <laughs> With two face downs. Um... But yeah, back to communication. Like, I think it's really, like, it's important to, even if you know what the cards do, mm -hmm. like, just to make sure, especially if you're in, like, a, a big scale tournament, to, you say, oh, okay, I'm gonna activate this, I'm gonna negate with Savage. So you don't just, like, for, like yeah. moving a dice on Savage, yeah. yes, it implies that, but, like, like it could be, yeah. It use just, your words at the yeah. end of the day, team. This is a PSA. You use your words. Yeah. Okay, you just handed him a shark. I'm so confused. What's All right, happening? We have, we've been talking about life advice over here. There's a lot of sets over here. I don't even think Paleo was a thing back then. I don't know. What would you have done? Oh! What was it? MST! Negates. Obviously. Thinking Man, about those it. Those 5Ds okay. WCQ sleeves. Oh, there we go. Here we go. <gasps> oh, he's the Wind up rat. Cute. Playing him in Melfi's. Love Melfi's. They're just so adorable. I love lethal, adorable decks. That's my <laughs> yeah, favorite I mean, like, they're thing. not like. <laughs> they're meta, so they're fun. good. Not meta. Look at this. <laughs> sure. I meant Melfi. Melfi will be good. And face special someday. summon dog cat. Normal summon bounce back pass. <laughs> oh, oh, they're arguing. 2020. Very 2020 of them. Did you bring that good you crap? Me. Me. Okay. Oh, oh, defense position. That, yep, bold. Oh! Spat what's that? Is that the Oh that's the tribute guy? Right? I think. I, I don't know, so. I could be wrong. I have no idea. We just watched the combo. I don't know what this card looks like yet. <laughs> You're seeing it live, team. <laughs> is that the one? I think that's the one. I that's don't know. the card ripper hand card guy. It looks weird. For this Why angle. is he not negating the summon? I'm so confused. I know, like, like I feel like you win. Like yeah, oh, there, there you oh, go. Okay. There it is. All Bye, right. bud. Oh. Wait. Why didn't he just negate the summon? I don't know. Because Loggia negates summons. I don't know. We weren't around back then. We I just don't get it. Yeah. We're thinking like, from why a, would you let it get on field? From, from why the future. Yeah, but like, why would you even let it stay on field? I don't know. Oh, 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 tribute. I want that card. Bye-bye. Oh, yo, you Ooh. you reach over and you oh, just touch yeah. my card? That's a no-no for us. No, no. I don't know about y'all in 2020. 2012 was different, but for all y'all in the yeah. comments, let me know how you feel about people just <laughs> grabbing your cards. Like, it's one thing to be like, hey, can I see your graveyard? Yeah, yeah okay, cool. Sure. But it's just like, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not happening. Get out of here, fruit fly. Like, hang on, I gotta, hang on, just let me, let me just, I gotta get your deck. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> like, no! Come on, y'all. You were raised better. Oh, juice, oh. He, Billy, love you, bud, but that, he's not happy. He's like, Here, Billy's gotta this. hit the brakes. He's like, cut this. He just threw his deck. His deck, like, slid. No, you know, I It's know. nice to see that, like, there's tension still. I like that. It's still, like, a game. I love a high stakes game. <laughs> we gotta call the haunted on the field. What is happening? <laughs> oh, you. oh, bottom avarice. 
Oh, what a great card. It's a three right now. I don't oh know what it was at here, but... Oh, my God, you just put all three back. That's insane. I think there it's a one go. here. I'm sweating. This yeah, is my intense. Hair, my bun is falling down. Oh, right. shuffle them back. Is this game one still? This is I wild. I think this is game <laughs> one. This is wild. A nine-minute game one? Who would have thought? Oh, 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 this oh. is so much aggression. <laughs> Draw two. <laughs> I feel this. Oh, he is angrily playing with his graveyard. Are we just set? He's mad. We're setting some cards. Oh, God. There we go. See, this is like, for me personally, from like a 2020 perspective, it's like, man, he drew one monster and two spells and traps. Absolutely not. This isn't even worth it. Pick up your cards game two. Let's go. Like... Oh man, especially with this, like, I don't know what life points are at because we can't see on this <laughs> lovely calculator over here, hey, but. 2012. Okay, we got a. That's a lot of set. It's crazy, too, that, like, people played Fiendish Train at three. And called the Haunted in the main deck. <laughs> oh my god, dude, stop playing with your graveyard. It's driving me nuts. Yeah, they're having fun, though. That's fun that you can just. It's like casting a, casting a spell. It's good against heroes. Heroes meta Every, 2012. Everything, everything is good against heroes. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> we have a friend who plays heroes. We like to bust his chest. Yeah, we just bust his chest. I love you, hero players. <laughs> it is interesting though that like 2012, <laughs> you're still, seeing like still dogging on heroes. <laughs> but like, it's cool that like in 2012, as like eight years yeah. later, heroes is still in the garbage. <laughs> oh my god. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you got like a dinosaur deck. It's not like the dinosaur deck, but it's dinosaurs. Uh, this is, I mean, this is wind ups, but like Melfi's just came in, so it's like beasts. It's like, it's cool to see how the meta changes, but it doesn't really like change. Yeah. That's kind of, I, I think that's kind we, of fun. We come full circle, circle of life. I love you, hero players. I promise I'm just kidding. Yeah, she's just kidding. <laughs> Dark Loss sucks. I hate that card. Yeah, that kicks my butt. <laughs> Oh, cute. Oh, what's that card? That's the, um... It, it came in the... Uh, oh, um, Monster Reborn! He just grabbed his graveyard. He said, I'm gonna take whatever I want. So much is happening. <sighs> oh, you better ask me, buddy. And we're still in game one. This is wild. Oh, Spirit Reaper. It's crazy how much advantage has shifted from, like, side to side over the course yeah. of the game. Like, that's so cool to me. That's something mm -hmm. you do not see anymore. Yeah, that's like, at this point, sure. this year, like... Or, like, in the last two years, honestly, yeah, since I'm we started. I'm a summon Savage Appaloosa with four, yeah, Dweller, like, um, IP, Block Dragon, um, uh, what else do they make on that board? Yeah, it's really hard to shift card and board yeah. state advantage at that point. Like, it's so hard nowadays. So, seeing this and seeing how, don't, pun intended, evenly matched the players are. <laughs> it's really cool. Like, I really enjoy this pacing. Yeah. While the, the actual decks, like... Little this has to be a 2 0 match, though, because we're halfway through the video now yeah. and we're still in game one. So. That our game two is just that, really yeah. short. Oh, Harold, that's the other card. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like, can you set up like 14 negates? Can you break it? No, cool game two. Mm. Like, this does not do that. Oh, he was like, bam, tour, tour guide. guide. I mean, I would do that if I top get tour going guide. Going on a tour, kid. Hot take tour guide, come through. Yeah, Love agreed. you, Farfa. Ooh, sand game. There it is. Let's go. We're going to search our Ash Blossom. Just kidding. It's not out yet. We know. When did Ash come out? Circuit break? No, it's Max Crisis. Maximum Crisis. That was some trivia for y'all. Max Crisis. Circuit break was. Borlone. Borlone. Yeah. Look at me. I know my cover cards, except she wasn't on the cover. Max Crisis, but I knew that. Weren't they the same color though? Max it's Crisis yellow, probably red, came out in what 2016? Something like that. Maybe 2017. Two hours later. Oh, for the love of God, <laughs> Judge! <laughs> this man's. <laughs> Um, I have had it. I have to say, like, we're waiting on something here. Um, yeah, we're reading cards at this point. But something is happening. But they're just, like, dueling for fun. Think... What do you need a ruling for? Oh, we're just going <laughs> to attack. Okay. Same game for game. Now we're going to search. What okay. is attack? Not enough. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, I think he just wanted to get in the grave so we could search. That's a long time to figure that out. Why didn't Doka do anything? Why is he sitting on Doka like that? I don't know. Okay, cool. We got a uh, tour Oh, guide. registration's closing, Yu-Gi-Oh players. Tour guide again, tour guide. So this is before the event. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's a scoop. All right. Oh. You... Yeah, scoop. Wait. No? <laughs> what the hell? What's happening? 
<laughs> yeah, that was a scoop. That okay. was a hard scoop. Okay. We'll just Wind spin ups for life. Wow. I've never played the deck. I've just seen it now, but I am convinced it's the best deck eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Now that we wow. have seen what wind-ups can do. Truly. Eight years ago. A learning experience. So let's huh. go back to the original question that Blade presented us with, which was, what's better for newer players of Yu-Gi-Oh? Older Yu-Gi-Oh? In my opinion, I think it is play style for, mm -hmm. for uh, individual people. So for me, I have realized over the last year and a half of playing that I am more of like a combo mm -hmm. player. Logan is more of a control player. So like, I think for me personally, I like this current like mm. 2020 metagame because it allows for more like combo. Obviously, mm. wind ups is like a combo deck and a combo for like 2012, I guess. I think but that was pretty combo. But again, for me personally, I said in the beginning of the video, I kind of have my own answer already and I wanted to see if this kind of shifted it. It, it doesn't shift my answer, but it does kind of solidify what I was originally thinking is that I am conditioned in the setting that I was brought into the game with, which was Lynx, which was Firewall just got banned, and yeah. like the game was very fast. You had to be fast. If you wanted to play competitive, you had to get on top of it, yeah. and you had to like start grinding immediately. I do think that there's a lot of merit to this, because like being new players now and seeing the Master Rule 5 aspect like unfold in front of us, we were honestly, if we can be completely transparent, a little nervous for Master Rule 5, because we only knew mm -hmm. Master Rule 4. It was like, okay, you've got these two link arrows, these are the only two extra deck monsters mm -hmm. that you can use in these arrows. But now we're like, yeah. oh my gosh, where are we going to put, like, we can just yeah. put our overlays and our, yeah. our synchros anywhere? Yeah, it gave us a lot of anxiety because we weren't used to that freedom, whereas everyone who had been playing for more than a year and a half like us, Master Rule 5 was a gift because it was yeah. like, oh my god, I can finally go back to what I was doing anyway before the Master like Rule. So this was actually a breath of fresh air for people who had already been playing, whereas for us it was like almost like weird anxiety at first. Yeah. So like... I like that aspect of the game where like you can put cards anywhere from the extra deck that aren't links, and I mean you can't just pick them up and move them, but <laughs> um, but that and going back, I think the pace of the game in this area is really yeah. cool. I like how games were more than two turns and just like, oh well, I'm just gonna scoop because whatever, I'm not even gonna bother because there's 18 negates I have to play through and I have six yeah. cards, what am I gonna do? But looking through like the mathematics of it too, this match was 25-ish minutes. Mm -hmm. And like, I would argue that a normal Yu-Gi-Oh match right now is also 25 mm -hmm. minutes, but there was like two games, like 3,000 turns in these two games. But like, I think now it's, my turn takes 15 minutes and your turn takes eight seconds yeah, because you draw because your six you're cards playing, It's not because you're playing for 25 yeah. minutes. It's because your opponent is setting up a board for 20 minutes and you're like, cool, game two. Game state mm -hmm. hasn't really changed. It's yeah. still, I have this, this doesn't allow you to play, and you have to now play through this, but I would, I think the only thing that's different about this it's is that, yeah, the mechanics that allow you to go that far. Mm -hmm. There is definitely a little bit more interaction for this, I think. Oh, for this, for sure. There's way more time for interaction where now there is no time. Like, if you cannot stop your opponent, you are not playing the game, which yeah. is unfortunate. I would like, ideally, in a perfect world, I would like the best of both worlds where you get the pace of this game for the right reasons, where there's actual turn interaction for more than two turns, <laughs> but without, like, the break my board chaos that kind of exists right now. I I wouldn't say that the game state is toxic right now because it's not the worst that it could be, but it's definitely not like this where it's very interactive and you can mm -hmm. actually play and like there can be a shift in advantage. Like now there really isn't that. It is so hard to yeah. like change the tides of a game now. And if there is, it's Boral Sword or Access Code, that's mm -hmm. it. It's like there's like two cards that allow you to do that. Yeah. I don't know, maybe we're conditioned because we came into the game at a very fast paced, like adrenaline full like state where it was like Orcus. Salad, yeah. like big decks, very fast. The format like was picking combo up. Combo Thunder, yeah, like it was yeah. very, very like. Yeah, the game was very high, high risk. <laughs> like yeah. at that point, so very like fast if you, paced. yeah, if you didn't get into it, you weren't just playing. You just weren't playing yeah. competitively at that point. I, I think Rogue has so many fantastic decks right now, and if you go to our channel, we do focus on a lot of Rogue decks. So if you like Rogue and you're sick of seeing that all the time, <laughs> we are a, a, a nice haven for you. Yeah. Um, but it would be nice to see Rogue kind of seep more into those things. Because mm -hmm. I just think, I think variety is just healthy. So to answer Blade's question, I really think when it comes down to modern Yu-Gi-Oh versus older Yu-Gi-Oh, 
it comes down to the player themselves. Like, obviously it depends on what format you came into the game, what you're used to, what you're comfortable with, and your play style. That really determines a lot of things. We really like the format that we came into because that's all yeah. we knew. So, so we like, why would we bother learning the older formats when the new one is so, like, relevant? Like, that's what we wanted. Yeah. We wanted to get right into it. We wanted to learn. We were very into it. It really depends on you as a player. And I think hot take too, learning other formats, re like, regardless of whether they're, like, current or not, makes you a better player. Mm -hmm. But we'd like to also open this question up that Blade asked us to you guys, because obviously you guys are players as well. And we'd like to know we're very discussion oriented. Mm -hmm. Very community based. Yes. So feel free to drop in the comments what you think. Do you like the older formats or the newer formats and why? Well, we want this to be a discussion. We want you guys to feel included in this. And it's a very solid question that I think you Yu-Gi-Oh players should ask themselves because it's a really healthy thing to think about. Like, yeah. what is it about the game that I enjoy and what is it that I don't enjoy right now? And you know, what could change? Who knows? Yeah. So feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. We will obviously be here on the video. Love to have conversations with new mm -hmm. people. We hope you guys come over and join our community. Also, our link is hopefully in the description box yeah. down below. Blade, thank you so much, yeah, man, for thanks, having Blade. two little nerds over on yeah, your and channel. And a bunch of alpacas. <laughs> Look at them all. There's many them. off camera. You can't see them, but they're there. <laughs> we love you so much, man. Yeah. Thank you so much for all that you have done for us and mm -hmm. just for the community thus far. Yes. You are absolutely incredible. Make sure you guys subscribe to Blade as well. And uh, yeah. Hope to see you on our channel. And never stop learning as players. I know that sounds really tacky, but this was really insightful for us. And like now we're kind of encouraged to keep learning about older things, even though they might not be relevant right now. It's good to learn. Keep maybe learning. We'll keep this. learning. Maybe we'll do this more. Yeah, maybe we'll do another reaction to like an older. I, there was like a YCS or like something or worlds with blue eyes or blue something. Blue eyes I don't mirror know. match. If you guys want to see that on our channel, <laughs> you better get so on cool. over there. It'll be fun. Um, but yeah, we love you. You matter. I say it at the end of every one of our videos because you know what you do. You matter. I don't care if you're eating Cheetos, drinking Mountain Dew, sitting with your leg up, hey. like this. I think you're great. We'll see you guys later, though. Thanks, Blade. Bye, friends. We love you. I'm back. It's me, not Cartoon Tops. Just wanted to say bye. We love you, Blade. Have a good day, everybody. <laughs>